Well, hello, Gamble family. Uh, my name is Chris Caldwell. I am one of the techs uh, here at Gamble uh, in the tech support department. Um, today, we're going to be doing an overview of encoders, uh, what to look for, where to locate your encoders, and, and whatnot. Um, so let's get started. Um, first, what is an encoder? Well, the encoder is, if you have stitch regulator, um, you're going to have encoders, an X encoder and a Y encoder. Um, if you don't have the stitch regulator function, you're not going to have to worry about this. Um, so the first thing to note is, uh, we'll start with the old style tracking. So different types of encoders, if you have the old style tracking, um, your encoder for your cross track is going to be located in between these two wheels underneath the back side of your uh, your cross track. Um, and on the machine, it'll be rolling on top of that wheel. Okay. Uh, if you've got the breeze tracking, the one on your cross track is located just underneath and it rolls up against the, the track there. And on the machine, it's on the top, but it rolls on top of the track. Okay. So that's where your, your encoders are located um, in the different styles of tracking. Um, now, why would you want to look at your encoders? Well, say you're getting skip stitches, long stitches, uh, you're getting basically inconsistent stitching. Um, that's the first place you want to look is at your encoders. Um, one of the first things on the encoder you want to look is if you're getting split or cracked encoder O-rings. That can definitely be causing your skip stitches or your long stitches. So you would want to change those out. And we do offer replacement O-rings and they come in a set of four. Okay. Uh, and they're not hard to change. So if you come over here, see if we can do this. So if you got the encoder O-ring, you just pop it off, comes off like that, and then you stick it on. So just take your thumb, kind of roll it, pop it on, make sure it's on all the way, and you should be good to go. Uh, the next thing on the encoder is the silver little uh, wheel. Sometimes, over here, this little silver wheel, this little set screw inside will come off. And see how that slides on there? So it could actually be causing it to slip on that, that little shaft there and causing you some grief that way. So the way you do that is you get a, uh, it's a 560 force Allen wrench. And you want to make sure that you don't have it all the way up against it, so leave a little bit of gap there. So it's not rubbing. And just give her a good snug tight there. And that should keep that on the shaft. Um, let's see. The next thing on the encoders are your spring. So if you're left up on your encoder and it doesn't have any springiness to it, it doesn't have any pressure down on it, even on the cross track side, um, you want to look at that spring. It may need to be adjusted. We'll go down here to the cross track. And you look at this little set screw right here. That's what causes the tension on that spring. So you want to make sure you got adequate tension so it's actually pushing up against there to, to roll properly. Now if we go over to the other one, the other cross track here. Now on the old style tracking, it's a little differently set up here. So see how this end cutter pops in between there? So that's how that is set in there and it actually rolls up against this wheel here. So when this wheel turns, see it turns the encoder. So if you're not, if you're turning this wheel and it's not turning your encoder, you're gonna need to take your encoder out and you're gonna take off the silver wheel with that 564 Allen wrench, pop that off. And there's another little uh, uh, nut in there. Just loosen that nut, push your encoder forward and then tighten that nut, and then you can put your wheel back on. 
and then just pop it down in there. It should be all right. Uh, the next thing is the cabling. So sometimes you may have the cabling in the wrong direction, especially on these old uh, non-breeze setups. And the proper way they go is you want, so say your cross track is laying flat like this, you'd want the black wire, which is this wire here, to face down, which if you have it the other way, it's gonna be face up. Uh, just make sure you get every pin. You don't wanna make sure, make sure you don't skip a pin like that. So get every pin. And I skipped a pin. Get every pin and just make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll do the same thing over here on the machine. So you wanna make sure that the black wire is facing up and make sure you have it all the way on. Now on the other ones, it's a little different connection. So on these, on the, on the breeze setup, you have a little black tab right here. And that just pulls out. And this will only go in one way. So once you get it set in there with that tab facing up, get it in there, you'll hear a click, and that means it's in there. Um, let's see, what else I got? Um, if you've gone through all of those setups, um, and you've checked everything like the O-rings and the wheels and made sure everything's plugged in and you're still having issues, it's a possibility you could be having another issue with either cabling or something internal in the system, the electrical system. Um, if that be the case, you'd want to give tech support a call or your dealer and we can do some further troubleshooting um, over the phone or, or whatnot. Um, believe that's that's all I had um, is there any questions questions all right if uh, you have any questions uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section or if you need help with uh, this type of issue just give us a call or text support